What we really need to understand now, we have some sense of the scale of the problem is, to what extent is this because the virus is directly infecting the brain? Or to what extent is it actually the virus is never in the brain, but it kicks off an immune response that then in turn uh, activates the brain and causes this inflammation. This large white area here and here, you can see it's affecting both sides as well. There's inflammation of the brain, not just that, it's areas where the brain is dying. We know from the surveillance study and from speaking to other people, that there's a proportion of people who got really sick but didn't go to hospital, who recovered at home and are still not back to work. And some of that is fatigue. For some, it's more than that. It's confusion, it's changing their thinking, it's changing their, perhaps the type of thinking that's involved with planning. And uh, sometimes it's more long-standing long than that. It can go on for weeks and weeks and weeks. They call it the long tail of COVID. 